Hi, it's me again. Um, just wanted to get on and talk about what's going on in this world because everything's blown up. Um, you know, you hear a lot of people say, don't feed the fear, but it's really quite human and normal for us to be afraid, especially if we've not been informed and not allowed ourselves to be informed. If we've had cognitive dissonance, you know, and just don't want to deal with it. I mean, I have family members that just can't hear anything. And then I see them making decisions, you know, based on their, you know, made up reality. And it's difficult. You know, it's difficult because, you know, people perish for lack of knowledge, you know. And, you know, we need to know what's going on. We need to know things to avoid, you know, certain foods or, or certain places we shouldn't go or, you know, I live in Arizona. I mean, we're near the border, you know, and I'm aware that of how many immigrants are coming across, you know, and we don't know from where. I mean, and they're not just coming from Mexico. They're coming from all over the world, you know, and they're not accounted for. And then we hear in the news, you know, uh, that, you know, there's certain areas all over the place in the United States where they're overtaking. So, you know, the, the bottom line is, is that, you know, this shadow government that's been running us <clears throat> in every aspect, uh, they're, they're pulling out all the stops. I mean, we can see it. There's like 22 wars going on on the planet. You know, there's, there's, you know, so many things before we could, you know, deal with one thing, there's another thing that comes up. I mean, Acapulco just got decimated. You know, they're calling that uh, energy weapon, you know, and the energy weapons were used in that. You know, um, Lahaina, you know, just all these, all these disasters that are, that are happening all over the place. And on top of that, you know, we've got people coming across the border in droves. I mean, I've seen the videos because I look, because I, I, I look, you know, but I understand people who don't want to deal with this, who don't want to look, who don't, who don't want to be worried or be, you know, afraid, you know, and you know, one of the things I want to talk about is how to deal with the fear. Now, listen, I'm just a regular person just trying to deal with life just like everybody else, you know. But I have a spiritual walk, and I, I do my best to to deal with my feelings. You know, one of the, the hardest things we have to deal with is feeling our feelings um, that I've noticed with a lot of people anyway. You know, um, you know, how do you feel your feelings and process them? and let them go like how do you do that you know um in really what it comes down to is not allowing fear or or these intense feelings to cause us to, uh, to overtake us and then lash out at other people you know really that's really what it comes down to okay so how do we do that well we feel our feelings we sit with them and let them pass through our body and le and that's letting them go and you'll find, you know, just like, you know, it reminded me of that show Hoarders where the, you know, the, the psychiatrist would come in and they would, here's how they would help them or not Hoarders. Um, yeah, Hoarders or, or people who have compulsive issues, um, they would tell them they have to sit through it, the fear and the anxiety and that, you know, for so much time and then, you know, and then it would pass. Well, it's the same thing here. You know, sitting with it, feeling it, you know, breathing through it, you know, and then letting it go, letting it pass through. And, you know, so then what do we anchor with? We anchor with our connection to God or the divine or the universe or spirit or whatever you call it. You know, whatever you call that higher power in your life, you anchor with that. You know, um, prayer, you know, asking, asking for um, help, you know, asking for help from God, asking from, for help, uh, from those that, you know, love you and that are around you. And if you don't have people around you that love you and mind you, <laughs> I've spent, a, you know, past few years, you know, feeling like that and, and literally having no, I mean, completely isolated, you know, um, I understand what that's like. So all the more to connect to, you know, God, how as you see God, you know, prayer, prayer helps, 
you know, and just being prepared, you know, we don't know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen, but it's going to, you know, things are ramping up. We know that. So, you know, just a practical, smart thing to do would be to just make sure that you have a stockpile of water and, and some, you know, non-perishable foods. Um, you know, there's a lot being said out there. You don't have to say, oh, I agree with this and this. You know, you don't have to agree with anything. You just keep it in a file in your head and do your best to practically be prepared for anything. You know, as, as prepared as possible. And that's all we can do. You know, and and then those of us who are aware of what's been going on, you know, just informing others and being a, comf a comfort to them. If we've worked through some of this fear and, and um, it's not such a shock to us, you know, because, you know, what's going to what's going to uh, shift all this eventually will be, you know, um, a, a heart set and a mindset of unconditional love and non-judgment you know we're all we all have traumas we all respond you know emotionally but those of us who have done some inner work or done a lot of inner work you know we can we're the ones that can stay calm and and you know just be kind and understanding you know not easily offended so you know, that's just, I just wanted to come on because, I mean, it's all coming to a head worldwide and in and, and, and America. Now, I, I do believe that, you know, there is, there's been a war going on between the good and the bad. You know, the white hats, the black hats. You know, um, you know a, lot, a lot of people call, a lot of the news have called the good guys the alliance. You know, and the bad guys the cabal. Whatever you call them, it doesn't matter. You know, but there's been a war going on and, you know, uh, it, 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 it will come out. The absolute truth will come out to the people who don't want to hear it either. You know, there will come a day very soon where the reality is going to be in your faces, in our faces. And I have absolute compassion, absolute compassion for you all, because the shock of knowing, you know, uh, straight up in our face is is quite difficult you know I, i've been doing i myself and many others have been you know little by little little by little understanding this and for me you know being a, a, a satanic ritual abuse survivor i've had no choice you know but to accept you know and you know we don't want to know that you know we're run by satanists that sounds ridiculous. We want it to be ridiculous. But, you know, the reality of that is coming out more and more and more and more. And so, you know, we don't want a new world order. We want a new world, but we don't want their new world order where most of us are dead and, you know, um, you know, and they, they run the rest of us. And there's a lot... You know, a lot going on in so many, in every arena in life, you know, even like with UFOs and aliens and all this stuff, you know, that's all real. You know, that's, that's all real. But, you know, if it gives any of you comfort for what, what I know and what I've been, you know, understand and what I've been experiencing is that, you know, most, most of uh, what's out there. You know, we've got we've got good aliens and bad aliens. The bad aliens have been running things for a long time, but they're being kicked out. I mean, they're, you know, there's there's a war on every level. So, you know, right now it's just you know, keep yourselves as as safe as you possibly can and and you know, live your lives. But be informed. You know, and don't be informed by the mainstream media because they're not going to tell you the truth. You know, go to, go to Rumble. Rumble is a lot, has a lot of information. You know, um, some of it will freak a lot of you out, <laughs> you know, but hey, just keep it like in a file. You don't have to like, you don't have to totally agree with every bit of information that you have. Just process it. Pray about it, you know. Um, 
cross-reference it to what you do know. And, you know, a lot of us who used to trust the government don't trust the government anymore. And a lot of us recently have switched over to, we don't know who to believe. You know, so believe in yourself, believe in your higher power, you know, and start, start asking, you know, for help with discernment. You know, because we're so used to people telling us what to think, you know, and what's right and what's wrong. We're growing up now. It's time to grow up. We have to think for ourselves. We have to discern for ourselves. You know, we have to draw on the wisdom that we innately have, you know, and start making decisions based on what we resonate with. And we are more than capable of doing that. We just have to acknowledge that, you know, we're more than what we thought. So, you know, I just wanted to come on and bring any kind of comfort. You know, I don't, I don't know everything, but I do know that I'm working on, what I'm working on is not reacting, you know, and I do well for a while and then I don't do well. It doesn't matter. That's, that's the part of the process is failing. <laughs> so it's okay. You know, it's okay if you, if you react, you know, but just, you know, the more and more we bring ourselves to the truth, you know, I, I write things out, you know, calm down, <laughs> calm down, Arlene, you know, remember who you are, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being scared. There's nothing wrong with being angry. There's nothing wrong with freaking out <laughs> for, you know, it's like, you know, we're, we're human, but to bring yourself to a point to, of awareness to say, okay, I'm freaking out. Okay, I'm like stuck in this loop of, of fear. Okay, I'm, I'm free. I, my body's literally like going along with this and freaking out. And sitting down and, and breathing. You know, you breathe in your nose. And out your mouth. Let your shoulders re relax. Do that a few times and you'll find that your body will follow. You know, and then you can think properly because you don't, you don't have that, um, anxiety taking over. So, you know, just a, a few tips on, on how to help and then bring yourself to, you know, okay, what, I don't have control over any of this. You know, what, what do you have control over? You have control over yourself. You have control over your choices right now. You know, what choices you do have and, you know, make a plan, make a plan. Okay. You know, I, I can't, all I can do is what I can do. And, you know, I've put it in God's hands. So whatever happens, happens. It is what it is. Find, find, try and find peace in that. You know, for your family members, for your children, for your neighbors, you know. Um, so anyway, also, here's one thing that we have to remember. Um, you're loved. You are deeply loved. You know, you, God loves you. Or however you, whatever you call your higher power, you're not alone. You've never been alone. And that's something I could lean on. You know, everything has gone crazy in my life too. <laughs> you know, partly because of, uh, circumstances, but mostly, you know, mostly because of how I view things. You know, and, you know, the healing path that I've been on. But it's all okay. You know, I'm, I'm taken care of. I trust God and I'm taken care of. You know, and um, so anyway, remember that you're loved and that you're not alone. You're not alone. You take those steps. I mean, that's just basic, simple breathing centering yourself asking for help and and staying as calm as you possibly can and doing doing what you can do you know i write stuff down it just you know because my mind can go all over the place when i'm stuck in that fear you know and then i can go back to my list and be like okay yeah here's what i can do you know and here's what i have no control over why am I going to stay in freak out mode over what I can't control? You know, it's just, it calms me. 
it calms me, you know. So we all have our coping mechanisms, you know. Let's just find the most healthy coping mechanisms that, you know, we can work with as we work through the rest of our stuff and the negative, negative coping mechanisms. So, anyway, um, I love you, and I will be back as soon as, I don't know, as soon as I can, as soon as I feel I need to do a video, I don't know, <laughs> you know, I just really been, felt like I've been prompted to just get on, and because I'm just, you know what, I'm just a regular person, you know, what can I contribute, you know, what can I contribute to what's going on in this world well here's something I can contribute it's something you know and it's valuable it's valuable you know any any kindness any help any it you know wisdom advice or whatever is helpful you know it's helpful so anyways I love you and I will talk to you soon Mwah.